Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home, and today we've got to talk about what's happening at Best Buy in their physical media pricing. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel today. In this video, we're going to talk about a recent topic that a lot of you guys have sent me and asked me questions about, and that is what the hell is going on over at Best Buy and how they have redone the pricing on so many of their physical media Blu-ray, 4K, and even DVD releases. So a bunch of you guys sent me this in DMs and YouTube comments, and I appreciate the heads up because I wasn't aware of this, but I have done some digging over the last couple of days, and I'm here to explain why this is happening, why this is pretty dumb, in my opinion, and sort of what I think this means for the future of physical media at Best Buy. So essentially, if you haven't checked the Best Buy website lately, or you haven't gone into a Best Buy store, a lot of them don't even have physical media sections at all anymore but if you do have a section in store or you've checked online the pricing on blu-ray and 4k releases on many of the most popular titles has gone insanely high one example i found spider-man no way home on 4k a disc that routinely sells for about 20 to 25 dollars listed for 45.99 on best buy's website Another release, The Dentist Collection, a new Vestron video Blu-ray release. It's $12.99 everywhere else, $17.99 at Best Buy. So just a little different, but still significantly higher. Violent Night Blu-ray, $20 to $25 everywhere else, $35 at Best Buy. So the question is, you know, what's what's going on here? Why is this happening? And it all comes down to this new Best Buy membership program that they're pushing. So I think this is a pretty recent thing, but Best Buy has launched what they call their Total Tech Membership Program. It's $199 a year, and really what it's most useful for is if you want tech support. It has things like free two-day shipping included, but it also has free Geek Squad and all kinds of other like warranty builds in, and, and like all sorts of uh, support and repair included. So the total tech thing, like I get, I think you get discounts on some stuff. It's basically like Best Buy's version of an Amazon Prime. I understand why they're doing that. Lots of retail stores do that. They have membership programs, especially if you're dealing with appliances, computers, home theater stuff, sure. But the kind of shady thing that's happening now is that you'll see on Best Buy's website that there's now a total tech price and a regular price. And that's why the prices on physical media have all gone way up. So I'll throw a few screenshot examples up here for you guys to look at. You can go on the Best Buy site. You'll see a lot of this as well. But there's things like Violent Night, $34.99. Well, if you're a total tech member, you save $10. That brings it down to $24.99, which is the typical price. Same thing with Spider-Man No Way Home. Same thing with the Dentist Collection from Vestron Video. There's numerous examples. The Woman King is over $40 at Best Buy on 4K without total tech, with the total tech it brings it right down to everybody else's price and so really what's happening here is Best Buy is essentially telling you the consumer if you want to buy physical media from us you become a total tech member and if you're not a total tech member then it makes absolutely zero sense to buy anything from Best Buy anymore on physical media because their pricing is so inflated over other stores even your local video stores like a bull moose that you know does charge a little bit more than Amazon because they have you know more less of a profit margin they got to make a little bit more on their releases than Amazon can they're still only going to charge you you know 24 25 bucks Amazon might charge you 22 Best Buy is asking $40 for a new release it makes zero sense at all for physical media collectors or enthusiasts to buy anything from Best Buy at this point point. and when I look at this program I really don't understand why this has been applied to the home video stuff because nothing that's part of the total tech program other than the two-day shipping really would have any benefit to a physical media collector if your primary purchases at best buy are blu-rays dvds and 4k discs and that's where you like to shop you're not going to become a total tech member because you don't need geek squad support you're buying things in store maybe you don't care about two-day shipping you don't need all these other warranties and extra benefits it just doesn't make any sense to pay $200 a year to have that. You like to go into Best Buy, shop, maybe pick up a couple titles every week, and that's it. 
But now when you walk in, those titles are twice as expensive. And unless you give them $200 a year, you're not going to be able to get the right price. So at this point right now, we have seen physical media slide out of Best Buy stores. Most of the stores have completely eliminated it and they're getting rid of it, you know, saving floor space for bigger ticket items, which I get. I totally understand. But some of your stores still at least had a little, you know, display in the front for new releases or a small section. Some of the bigger stores may have still had, you know, a decent physical media section, maybe a couple of shelves. Um, but at this point, and, and I should say, of course, a lot of people were buying from Best Buy online, pre-ordering lots of Best Buy steelbooks, things like that. A lot of people bought from Best Buy. Uh, at this point, I, I wouldn't recommend going to a Best Buy store or buying from Best Buy online when it comes to Blu-ray, DVD, 4K. It makes absolutely no sense to purchase from them. Uh, you're better off buying from literally anybody else unless you're a member of that total tech program by chance but i would not recommend signing up for the total tech program the 200 dollars a year is not worth it when you can easily get physical media at better prices at places like bull moose orbit dvd you can go to amazon you can still buy from target.com you can still buy from walmart there's plenty of places that you can buy physical media from that you don't need best buy for so i know it sucks for some of you that have a best buy and that's where you like to go but try to look for somewhere else because at this point i'd say best buy is officially out of the physical media game they're they're in it but other than their exclusives they don't have any interest in this or they wouldn't be pulling this. So that's my advice. That's what's going on. That's why the prices have been jacked up. And it is kind of shady because if you're in stores, um, I first thought like, oh, well, it's it's post holidays. Like they probably just put the prices back up and then they'll have a sale and stuff will go back down. And maybe they will still have sales, but it's just shady because if you walk in a store and the disc is $40, um, you're just going to assume, well, I guess that's what everyone's selling it for. It's a new release. It's 40 bucks. You get on the street to Target, it's going to be 24 it's going to be 22 um, You go online, it's going to be 22 25 dollars And they're not telling you that in store. So I know that's unfortunate. Best Buy's been slipping for a long time. They got rid of physical. Now they're doing this. They're pulling this left and right. They're basically out of the game. At this point, like I said, definitely focus on some of your independent video stores that do have websites like an Orbit DVD or a Bull Moose. Diabolic DVD is another one for horror movies. You can always check out like... Uh, other you know local independent stores where you can shop in store as well but at this point best buy is pretty much dead to physical media people unless they change this policy so thanks for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it even though it is kind of you know crappy news if you're a best buy lover um, but i did want to cover it because so many of you asked about it that's the story that's unfortunate but that's what it is if you enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed like this video comment let me know if you've run into this at your local best buy store recently and also make sure you follow me on social media all those links are in the description as well as ways you can support my channel with partner links and discount codes so i appreciate all of that i hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe and stay healthy out there and i will talk to you all soon